pushing the button. Bam. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, I suppose this is like Chaos Nova writing corner. Uh, spring ground up, maybe? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's fucking June. Yeah. <laughs> it's, um, it's, it's a British summer, right? Um, it's still. I'm not sure how that's happened, but it's June. Yeah. <laughs> what happened to May? May went past really quick. It was like fifth of May, and then it was all just a blur. And then, and then my birthday happened, which was great. I had an awesome birthday. Thank you to everybody who made that special. That was awesome. Um, yeah. I didn't do anything. I was writing. <laughs> Yeah. So I was I was editing. Oh, I was publishing. <laughs> we did the editing. <laughs> Cole, excellent editor. We uh, now we're down to all the other stuff that comes with writing books. So, so uh, yeah. what have we been up to? You first. Okay, you gotta. Oh, okay, so much pressure. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, so if anybody's been paying attention to the Twitter feed or the YouTube or anything Chaos Nova recently, you'll know that I recently released Cow de Vaza. Dun 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 dun. And uh, I'm actually really pleased with this one. Um, I, uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Um, this book. Right was an absolute joy to write, and actually the the I don't want to say rewarding thing. Oh, okay, yeah, fuck it. The rewarding thing is now sharing this with everybody and 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 seeing what they think. Essentially, like I'm looking forward to what people make of this <laughs> this journey that I went on. Um, it's fantastic. Uh, just quickly, it follows the story of Alicia Rivera. Uh, Rivera, and she's from a place called Paradise. It's a mining settlement far, far, far away from Calabaza. And uh, some trouble was happening at her home world, hometown, so she left. And she ended up on Calabaza hoping that none of. She would have a peaceful, easy life from this point on. Obviously, that doesn't happen. And uh, she gets involved in a lot of issues and problems for Calabaza Station. And yeah. They, it, I just really hope you enjoy it. It's available now on Amazon. Uh, Elise is a great character. Casca is a great character. Uh, Rafford, I mean, I've really enjoyed writing for all of them. Um, again, strong females. I don't know what it is, but I think just females uh, more interesting. I mean, I always, I always treat everybody just as people, right? But when it, when it comes to Elise, I don't know if it's because she's a female, but she is a standout character in my opinion um, so I absolutely love that and I'm I hope you guys like Elisa as well and Casca and all these other people who are joining us on this it's a long one it's over a hundred thousand words long uh, me and Cole but I said this to Fred the other day I was like none of these words are wasted right? mm. Cole went through and did a very good job of taking out all the words that were sort of like non precise if that makes sense mm. like the ones that were just sort of like floating around and not really adding anything to fluffy, the story. Fluffy so, words or ballast words. Yeah. yeah, exactly. We got rid of all that stuff. So everything in here, as far as me and Carl are concerned, is absolutely necessary and everything moves the story forward. Mm. Um, whether it's a character thing being moved forward or if it's an actual physical thing happening to Cal Vaza that's moving the story forward, it, it, it all counts, right? So that is another important important thing so yeah it came out today 7th of june i'm just so happy to share it with all of you and it's available in amazon and paper it's available in ebook and paperback you can get the paperback from amazon but also if you there's a universal i'll put the universal book link up mm -hmm. on twitter later okay. it's all over the place it's on kobo it's on barnes and noble it's on apple you can get it anywhere you want so whatever your choice your store of choice is it's there so that's what I've been up to. <laughs> what have you been doing? Well, I finished the serialized story. Also, Casanova's story. And actually, my first solo. 
I, yeah. I, I realized. So the uh, the fourth uh, fourth part uh, of Always Warm in Base Camp uh, was released uh, in uh, React uh, at the end of May, <coughs> and uh, in the end end of that story, my brave uh, my brave unit reaches their uh, reaches their objective. And the whole bigger unit uh, gets contacted or the rendezvous with uh, another character who we know from elsewhere. <laughs> mm -hmm. And and that's that's where I that's where I set the the end point of this story. And there were actually lots of points about the layer universe and the branching timelines that I decided. While I was working on the last part, I, uh, I figured, yeah, I, I have to write a separate sequel about that stuff as well, which would be more Smith-centric than the original. So the the first story was uh, all about uh, this one particular unit and the characters within, whereas the... Uh, I wouldn't even it's it's not even a sequel it's more like a continuation but as a separate unit so the continuation would be more about the the nature of reali reality and the sort of uh, getting in terms with this mission and uh, and and all that mm. and also one yeah uh, one, of the things yeah. that, well, one of the things that I've taken away from this is every time you've spoken to me about this story, is you, one of the things that's always come through is always your excitement, <laughs> which I think is brilliant. That's really um, infectious. I love that. It gets me going. And also, um, when you talk about it, I'm like, <clears throat> the, the turns and stuff that the story takes as a whole, <laughs> and in the immortal words of Detective Pikachu, ooh, so twisty. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely love it. It's brilliant. Uh, yeah, uh, again, again, when you... Okay, so it's a little bit different for you because you were able to release it in sort of like chunks mm -hmm. through Reactor, right? So mm -hmm. um, now that you've... Now that the quote-unquote whole thing, I mean, I know you want to do a continuation mm -hmm. of that, uh, but now that the whole thing is out there, do you have the same sort of feeling that I've got? Like, man, it's out in the world now. People can enjoy it. I'm, I'm glad I've shared this now. Do you, are you feeling that at all? Well, I, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Like, I, I, I think there is the, the, the weight of the continuation is, is sort of on my back now, because mm. I know I can't leave it at just that. Because I've I've already I've already gotten some feedback that mm, the the ending should be more thorough, <laughs> and in mm. a way in a way I get it. Uh, in another way, uh, I didn't want to add too much to the end. So basically, I wanted I wanted it to end it on a specific note, mm -hmm. and once I had gotten that out there, I didn't want to add too much weight around it so like I, I I think like I think there's a better way to execute the ending that uh, that I have right now like there there can be there are ways to add support without taking away from its uh, from the punch uh, but uh, this this first story I don't actually uh, want to extend it anywhere else so it's like, yeah, this this story ends here, and then its partner story or the the next step begins from here. But but mm -hmm. that's this this is like this is where I, where I wanted to put it. It's interesting that you mentioned sort of having the weight of the continuation on you now, mm -hmm. uh, because I kind of okay. So yeah, uh, Count of Arthur is out. I've just released it there. I kind of feel now, though, um, I'm definitely taking a break. This is a boundary mm. I have set myself. I'm like, Di you take a break from Cow mm. now. Um, there is, in the future, going to be a Cycles Between and a Cow 2, 
Um, but that's only because I couldn't wrap everything up in oh, Cloud of Oz okay. 1. Like, I tried my best to wrap <laughs> as much of the story up in Cloud of Oz 1 because, well, I thought we're not too keen on the whole cliffhanger deal mm. if it if it's just an attempt to f to sell more books or whatever like mm. that's that's bollocks let's not do that um so i i've always taken the stance that if we can try to make it a standalone story that would be great but obviously it covers too much for me to be able to just put it all into one book mm -hmm. i mean it's already massive if i kept going with that thing it would be like 200,000 pages long um, and also, uh, KD2 um, possibly takes place in a much future timeline. Mm. And really, I'd like to I'd like to settle some of these other stories before we get that too far, far ahead. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, like, especially so I'm not have to work on it, but not now. <laughs> especially since it's supposed to be kind of, sort of, separate from the main Chaos Nova arc. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to, you have to. Pro we have to produce some of that arc so that we know what we're not gonna interfere <laughs> with. Yeah. It's uh, oh man, it it feels like in these more recent months with everything sort of everything sort of clicking into place. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense, like me and you have established this sort of work uh, situation. Like okay, so. Ekarana, for example, um, we we've sort of taken this by a case by case basis, and mm -hmm. we said that it was originally a system called Yurinda in the map, right? Mm -hmm. um, and we've had this big thing in the past about how all the your uh, well, not just the your names, but a lot of the names of systems in the system really need mm -hmm. um, looking at. Um, but we had a discussion, and you were like, "What?" Well, what if I take this system here? Mm -hmm. What if I take Yurinda and make it my own? And and I really fucking love that. Because <laughs> it, it's like, we 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 set up sort of like the 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 line drawing of the universe, and mm -hmm. now between us, we're sort of coloring it in a little bit. So you've mm -hmm. got Ekarana, I got Windan with Caldevarza and a couple of other systems. Um, we've got our Chaos and Trelasi through Seeker. Mm -hmm. uh, I just absolutely love this approach, and uh, I was I was saying this earlier, to Sam, about how um, it it's I can't fill in on on my own. If we were to totally fill in the Chaos Nova universe as it stands, mm -hmm. um, it would it like 70, 80 odd systems, right? There's a mm -hmm. lot of systems in the I can't do it on my own. There's no way. And, <laughs> also, there's a good chance that most of those systems, or some of them, most of them exist, we probably never visit them, and there's another chance that a lot of systems that we do visit aren't even on the map, like they haven't mm. even been created yet. Yeah, so there's yeah. that element as well. Um, so it's just good to be working together and seeing mm. other parts of the universe develop while I'm working on something else. And, mm -hmm. you know, So I'm developing Windan, you're developing Ekarana, and it's just great coming back <laughs> after like a few weeks and being like, okay, so this is what you've set up. This is amazing. And <laughs> I mean, the whole twin star thing with Ekarana, that even the name where you got the name from, I think it's all fascinating and fantastic. And it's a real good energy, and I love it. Um, <laughs> Chaos Nova can only benefit from this, so of course I'm going to be happy. We have matured. Oh yes, I'd like, I think so. I'm gonna have to get myself a smoking. Oh, jacket. we're fucking adults here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. So on Too the right. on on the other front, on the local front, uh, I think it was in. Uh, this has been popping up in the writing goals uh, since uh, February, I think, or uh, I, I I think I was given the assignment. The last year already, and mm. then the first sort of milestone where I tried to push the story forward was uh, in February. Then next sort of milestone came in May, and and now the story that I'm working on for the local shared universe thing run by the guys uh, in the writing workshop, uh, my solid draft is almost done. So right now I'm I'm polishing some things and adding adding in some things uh, based on uh, 
based on some reviewing already, but the, the, the bulk is there. The, mm-hmm. the text is there. <laughs> 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 like, for, for me, the, uh, the most crucial... Oh, a wasp is examining my cables. Okay then. Uh, so yeah, uh, for me the most uh, crucial step is when all those uh, colored mark uh, uh, waypoints and uh, and content notes. When when I'm able to uh, delete those because there's mm-hmm. actual text. So that's that's the yeah. that's the hardest uh, hardest transi- transition for me. Such a good feeling though. Mm. It's like, whoosh, select <laughs> text black. Yeah. <laughs> You're out of here. Get out. Mm. We're done with you, pal. <laughs> so, big news. Book came out. Mm-hmm. Story came out. Story almost finished. Now what? <laughs> We're turning our gaze possibly to our next project mm. look at me i'm being so theatrical today man. <laughs> I'm in such a good mood man we did it we got another book out it's a fantastic Whee! story i'm really proud of it um yeah so there is talk in the air in the ether mm. of a potential new story involving some characters that we've worked on before it, uh, Okay, so Scribe's an interesting case. So, in Estonia, uh, in Estonian, Scribe and the Doctor is a story that exists, right? Mm-hmm. It doesn't exist in English right now, but that, there's a character from that who appears in the story that we're working on. Or okay. we will be working on. Uh, that's all I wanted to get at with that. <laughs> I wasn't <laughs> was long winded way of getting to it. And there's um, also. Do we. Should we talk about this, Jewel? Jewel. Should we talk about Jewel? Of course, yeah. Uh, I, okay. I, I think I think when it comes to collision course and describing what we plan to put together for this, mm-hmm. I say fuck spoiler warnings. We are we are simply okay. we we are planning where the story might go. It might even not end up there. And mm-hmm. if I have learned anything throughout the last uh, two years is that holding back story material is not making the existing stories better so yeah okay d- d- so discuss whatever in, in seeker uh jewel harper legendary jewel harper uh she's okay we bring her into collision course. At the end of Seeker, there was also a story uh, called Salvage Mission. I think it was called Salvage Mission at the time, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Uh, and that included a character called Gnarly, and he recovered a um, a android. He's <laughs> an android. We really need to sit down and look through those notes. Um, and uh, I think at one point the suggestion was made, although this might have been for Shade, actually, now that I think about it, that he's a super, super, super augmented human. So yeah, that that Martin. one wasn't for for Synax. That was another. Yeah, okay, that was another story. Yeah. So you've got Nali and Synax from that story. Mm-hmm. You've got Jewel from Seeker, and mm-hmm. you've got Scribe from Scribe and the Doctor. Mm-hmm. And Collision Calls is literally Collision Calls, right? <laughs> They're all smooshing together. Well, and, more like more like mm. collaboration really so uh, I, I, I would uh, I would sort of temper the uh, fury a little bit and say for now collision course is a working title or collision course is the project yes. uh, project name we don't know if and what uh, remains the actual story's name but yeah the mm-hmm. the collision course is several existing characters uh, taking course of action that leads them together mm-hmm. so that's the, that's that's like the crux of it <laughs> I'm I will admit I am slightly overexcited for this because when uh, when you sort of ca- when you settled on the idea of how to bring these characters together mm-hmm. Uh, it was like solving a murder, right? <laughs> it was like we're homicide detectives and we've just solved this big murder. 
uh, and now we can retire. No. <laughs> <laughs> it, it just felt amazing. It was a really good feeling. Uh, easily one of the highlights of being an author is when moments like that just click. Um, so bringing Scribe, Gnarly, Synex, mm -hmm. and Jewel uh, together, that was a master stroke, so nice work. Um, I don't know how much in depth do we want to go into with this because not uh, we've got a few solidified details, but there's not. I I uh, think uh, I think uh, mm, when when we start working on it more actively, uh, then let's turn it into a separate video series where we open and discuss the mm -hmm. uh, what we're planning and what we're what the intentions are and what the set objectives are and what we're planning to do with such and such and so on so i i, I, I think, think i think at the moment you don't have to go into too much in depth with it what what we can do because this is a spring update what we can do mm -hmm. is we can talk about the work we've sort of done mm -hmm. on it uh, so we uh, over the past couple of months we've occasionally collaborated and you've uh, I've written down some notes that you've said and mm -hmm. added some notes of my own. Uh, yesterday I went, or not yesterday, <laughs> a few days ago, sometime <laughs> in the past, <laughs> <laughs> I went through and I sort of did the, the key points of how I understand it happening. Mm -hmm. So to give us a bit more of a, I think the analogy I used was I've, I, we found a bunch of bones and we've laid them all out on the mm -hmm. table, a bunch random bones that could or could not all belong to the mm -hmm. same creature uh, and it's now our job to sort of put these bones in the correct order and remove the ones that don't fit and put new ones in so that's currently the stage we're at with it we've got a we've got a pretty good idea of mm -hmm. the whole of the story uh it's just organizing we, this together yeah like we we, we we got a pretty good idea of the certain crucial uh convergence points like things mm -hmm. that have to happen for this uh, story to work and where it all heads so we, n we know where the toes are we know where the head is but uh, <laughs> we, we, we don't know the details how we're going to get there uh, Whose femur is this? Uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> Do you recognize this femur? <laughs> uh, so yeah I, I, was, I was actually actually thinking like uh, I remember when the uh, when the potential course of events first came to me. I, I think we were discussing something completely different. Like we weren't even. I don't think we were recording. I think we were just uh, chatting some background stuff. Mm. And that 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 was the thing. Like I was figuring out. I think it came from the discussion that oh I want to rename that system I want to claim that system and I want to rename it and I had uh, while I was working on the base camp sto story I was working out certain background information uh, for that particular reality and for the downstream realities and like things that would have had to happen or things that would have had to be in place for certain things to play out and mm. it's like hmm if this happens um, and if this comes out of this and if that comes out of that and then when this goes here then that goes there and it's like <laughs> 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 like a huge uh, Rube Goldberg, Goldberg machine <laughs> There is no Pepe Sylvia. <laughs> <laughs> Just the the mystery was solved, and it was it was hmm. brilliant. Well, I mean, the mystery think, mystery isn't solved, but the mystery has been outlined. Uh, yeah. Okay. There was also another element of I think one of our reviewers. I want to say Dave, and I don't think he's our reviewer. He's just a reviewer. But mm -hmm. thank you for the review that you left. Um, where he was talking about the extra story at the end, mm -hmm. the salvage, salvage mission, mission. and and he, I think he said it it lacked a certain je ne sais quoi. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> it lacked a sort of like punch to it essentially. Yeah. So. 
So that, this is... I think, helped lay the foundation for a, we need to do yeah, more Yeah, because we, we had this, I think we had this task that we have to uh, improve on that story to mm -hmm. make it count, to make it relevant. Yeah. And then uh, once uh, Scribe and the Doctor had made an appearance in the story contest, uh, we got back a very similar point about that. That okay, mm -hmm. it it it's okay, but it it lacks the punch. And I immediately clicked that. Yep, that's exactly what uh, uh, what Captain <laughs> Dave, aka Captain Disaster. <laughs> I will yeah, I will man. put his uh, itch.io link in uh, in the description so that you can play his game. Uh, but yeah, uh, I immediately thought, yeah, that's exactly what he said then. It's like the the bigger picture is missing, and for us, the story counts because we know the bigger picture. But mm -hmm. a reader from the bush, uh, who doesn't know and who doesn't care, doesn't yeah. doesn't really <laughs> get the full story out of this. We, I also I can confirm this. Uh, I I read some uh, wild independent review <laughs> of Scribe mm -hmm. by the Doctor <laughs> which which was a basically uh, the reviewer didn't uh, so th the starting point was that he he wasn't amused or he wasn't engaged by the stuff that's so important to us like none of the language fi uh, fudge was interesting to him mm -hmm. and it's like yeah but space stories are just based on stamps so basically all the stuff that makes things special for us were already like a eh, whatever for him oh, so yeah. that 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 means that uh, all that we had to go with was the sort of uh, story itself <laughs> In the end, it it uh, it earned a strong meh. <laughs> so, but but I was like, yeah. So ev even even though there's all this, yeah, but you don't get it uh, layer in there. He still pointed out the similar things, like the, the the stuff that really counts for us has to be in there for the story to work for somebody who doesn't really care about the uh, the the bells and whistles. Mm -hmm. And uh, and like yeah, I think I think one of the big takeaways here is that uh, the short story, the stores short story collection or short story project that uh, we've kind of been trying to get to work. Mm -hmm. uh, it almost seems that on its own, uh, it it might not work. Like the stories have to be connected together. And uh, and mm. in case of Scribe and the Doctor, and in case of Salvage Mission, uh, I I had the light bulb moment that okay, as is, they might not uh, function or fully function as uh, engaging short stories. However, even as is, they would work very well as chapters in a bigger story. So mm -hmm. like. Either, either either way, we have to uh, put the bigger connection in there, and in the end, it's it's going to lead to the collision course. <laughs> yeah. So that's there was such a light bulb moment. It was amazing. <laughs> yeah. So of course, that's uh, that's that's not to say that we can't uh, whoop them up a little bit uh, as short stories and spread them mm -hmm. independently. But uh, ultimately, they uh, they are part of a bigger story, and they will have to serve as building blocks for that. So there is that. Uh, it actually solves a lot of problems because I was having trouble uh, with certain elements of bringing uh, <coughs> the taking flight arc characters mm. together with what is now the collision course arc characters, um, and with your suggestion that actually using uh, salvage mission, scribe and the doctor uh, as threads of a larger story that solved one massive problem in the fact that we're bringing them together for collision calls and there was the suggestion about Jewel and a lot of people have been saying to us okay so when's the next sequel yeah, right? yeah, yeah, it's yeah, also yeah. Ha solves uh, they're not an issue. I love hearing that. I love hearing that people are so invested in in Jewel that they want more Jewel, essentially. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy that 
we've got this chance to give it to them with uh, our, <laughs> our latest project. So I think that's brilliant. Yeah. I think it solves so many problems. Yeah, the, the, the third missing ingredient was that we, we knew we wanted to go on with the Hopper House endeavors. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we we didn't really have a good story there. Like there, there, there were like scraps of ideas, but they didn't quite link into much. So it's like there, there is a quote around here somewhere on a sticky note that just says she had kept the scars, and then underneath it is just Seeker Two. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so that that really, that would be <laughs> really old. Style. Yeah, so we we have we have the opening line for her first appearance and we know that she would be in the training room having trouble with the house security or the uh, mm -hmm. hub house enforcement who doesn't uh, who don't acknowledge her as their leader yeah. uh, so that 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 nugget was there but mm -hmm. where the story takes from there we uh, I, I frankly I had no no idea. So you, when the I had no idea, when yeah. the outline started to come together, that was like whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. Yes. Excellent. Yes. More of that, please. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was fully on board, man. I think it's amazing. Uh, and and it has the knock-on effect, as I mentioned earlier. It, the the taking flight arc no longer interacts with this sort of arc until much later on, mm -hmm. uh, which which cleared my head a lot, right? It, mm -hmm. it allowed me to relax a little bit more when it came yeah, to Yeah, lots, lots of freedom there because uh, yeah. for a while when it came to taking the taking the state of forum stories that are sort of like some, some of which were getting really good but uh, mm -hmm. they had so many characters together who we didn't know how to bring together and then we mm -hmm. have the source that we were working on at the moment. It's like uh, it, it felt like we painted ourselves in the corner somehow, and yeah, and the sort of like yeah, we know this stuff has to happen, but like there is no meaningful way to connect it. But but yeah, now this, like I, I'm I'm pretty pretty happy about that idea. <laughs> yeah, you should be damn proud of yourself, man. Damn proud. <laughs> I am, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and I'm I'm pretty happy about how my own story turned out as well. If I do say so myself, yes, yes, I know there are there are certain bits where I have swept some scraps under the rug and and hit it with a stick a few times and uh, <laughs> and, and like I I know I have I have already uh, taken a few notes here and there like at some places where I remember that actually if I were to uh, develop or, full or revise this uh, I would want to add something there or revise something there but still pretty proud of myself <laughs> I, I feel I think this is good I feel I certainly I won't speak for you but I feel more confident in the releases now the stuff that mm. we're putting out it's like right um, uh, we're sort of hitting our stride a little bit, which is good. And it sounds mm -hmm. like you are as well. Of course, I don't want to mm -hmm. put words into your mouth, but it sounds like you're confident in work that you have produced, and you're proud to pr proud to have produced it, right? So. Yeah. Yeah, and and also uh, one thing, one other thing, or one other attitude that has come out of this is that uh, I'm quite happy to share more. Chaos Nova stories in Estonian, even if they don't immediately click with the reader, or even even if I have to put all the disclaimers uh, before and after, <laughs> like this takes place here and the conditions are, are such and such and etc etc. But now now there is a sort of support system that I can refer to, like okay, this happens in this universe where things work like this. Read that story, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> We're entering a new era of Chaos Nova, and it's mm -hmm. very exciting. Yes. I I haven't got anything else to add. Me neither. I, I think uh, let's wrap it up here, and then uh, let's see where the summer takes us. Mhm. Mm Adventure summer. Adventure. Mm -hmm. Bye.
Thanks for watching. Bye.